everybody, Rose Matter here. Welcome to episode 20 of my Dankenropa 2 Goodbye Despair Let's Play. In the last episode, we concluded the fourth class trial and uh, discovered that Gundam was actually the killer, had a little bit of an emotional end to it, and uh, now we are out of that damn fun house and we are back into the regular school trip part of the game. So without further ado, let's get into it and see what happens next. After being released from the fun house, we went back to living our less than ordinary lives. And just like before, our day began with us all gathering at the restaurant. Ugh, it's so good to be back here again. Something familiar. Jeez. You know, every time we meet up here, it makes me realize just how crazy this whole situation is. Um... The restaurant certainly feels more spacious than before. Of course it feels spacious. There are less than half of us here now than there were in the beginning. Stupid fool! <gasps> the Negamaru? Stupid fool, get it together. Oh my! Did you hear something? Hey! It's Nekomaru. That was Coach Nekomaru's voice. Huh? What are you talking about? He's no longer... What's up? Oh, Kazuichi, what did you do, my man? I'll beat you up! What are you laughing about? I'll beat the crap out of you if you keep grossing me out like that. <laughs> hey, hey, that's not cool. I was up all night working my fingers to the bone. I am concerned. More importantly, I am starting to get tired of the seasonings in this restaurant. Oh, she just shaded him. She's like not even paying him any attention. Jeez. Seriously, I'm starting to realize how valuable Teru Teru was, so is Puyuhiko. I love this. Everyone feels the same way about Kazuichi that I do. <laughs> Don't ignore me. I'm trying to talk to you about something important. Huh? Important? All right! This! It took me all night to make it. Oh, that's so cute! Okay, Kazuichi, you did a good. Like, that's that was actually pretty cool of you. My! Is that a Nekamaru doll? Or no doll! I'm Minimaru! Minimaru. <laughs> Mini Maru? I took some parts from him to make it. What do you think? Awesome quality, right? <laughs> of course, it doesn't have free will or anything, so it's more like, you know, a toy. But isn't it freaking adorable? Are you serious? Oh, oh, oh. Thanks. It's so cute. Thanks. I'll keep it. I should have known Akane would take it. Well... Uh, I never said anything about giving it away. I'll beat you up! Don't be so stuck up. Your stuff is my stuff, right? Yeah, she's not giving it back. Whoa! Whoa, hey now, that's a bully's logic. Man... Well, it doesn't matter. I made this to cheer you guys up anyway. Hmm... And as long as we have it, we won't forget, you know, about Nekomaru's sacrifice for us. We're standing here today because of him. So if we're gonna prevent something like that from ever happening again... Engines revving! I guess we gotta fight too, right? We can't just keep running away. I gotta say, I like this new Kazuichi. He's having a little bit of a redemption arc, like uh, Fuyuhiko had, which probably means something's gonna happen to him. Huh. I gotta admit, I never thought I'd hear you say something that awesome. Yes, exactly! He and I are on the same wavelength here. <laughs> of course. Um... In the end, Gundam told us to never give up on life. Oh, she's still upset about it. Oh, poor girl. I... So I will never give up. I shall fight until the very end. <laughs> Gundam, please watch over me. Miss Sonia? Um, Miss Sonia, what did you think about my little pep talk? Okay, I have to remember how to pronounce her name, Sonia. Oh my! Oh, did you say something? Are you kidding me? What? I was up all night memorizing that speech. Jeez. Oh, he just did it to impress her, and there's the punchline. <laughs> I really like this. Thanks, Kazuichi. I am Minimaru. Man. Ugh, I'm only half as happy to be thanked by you. Okay, well, redemption arc over. That's right! <laughs> by the way, you can also use that to massage your sore muscles and pressure points. You serious? Are you serious? That's amazing. Okay, I guess he kind of did make it for Akane specifically. Of course! I made it, after all. <laughs> Seriously, thanks. I'll take good care of it. Akane looks really happy. Hey, hey. Anyway, what happened to Nagito? I haven't seen him like I usually do. Oh yeah, there was that thing that happened at the end where he like met up with uh, Monokuma. <laughs> you don't have to worry about that guy. He goes solo all the freaking time. Well. But still, I'm a little worried about how he was acting during that last class trial. Well, he's always been a dangerous bastard, but he's crossed the line, you know? Hey, hey! And that's even more reason we should avoid him. But still. But even if we do avoid him, what are you going to do if he approaches us? Nakito's sudden change was really weird. I wonder, did he figure something out that we're not aware of? Now then. Anyway, Hajime, isn't it about time you told us what that was all about? Huh? That? Oh, about, like, his whole secret 
<laughs> you know, what Nagito, sa uh, Nagito said during the trial. You still don't realize it. Jeez, get it together. You're supposed to be the symbols of hope, aren't you? Oh, I forgot. Except for Hajime, of course. Hey, bastard! What did he mean by, except for Hajime? Huh? Are you really the traitor after all? No, it's not like that. I didn't really want to say it, but I guess I have no choice. Well, also, he kept calling me a reserve student, reserve corps student, like, multiple times during the trial as well. To tell you guys the truth, unlike the rest of you, well, apparently I was never part of Hope's Peak Academy's primary department. I'm a reserve corps student from the reserve department. Yeah, he said, like, Nagito said that, like, a couple of times, but I guess we were so, the rest of them were so into, you know, trying to figure out the murder that it just kind of flew over their heads. Huh? Reserve department. It means, unlike you guys, I don't have an ultimate talent at all. Apparently, I'm just a normal person. Hmm. But I'm the protagonist, so I'm pretty special. Is that all? Uh. What, that's it? Dude, don't ever scare me like that. It's not something I can just brush off, especially since it's about me. I thought I just forgot. I thought I got into Hope's Peak Academy because I had talent all along. But shit. Aw, but they, they still like me for who I am as a person. My whole life, I've just wanted to feel confident about myself. And I thought getting into Hope's Peak Academy meant I had finally become someone I could be proud of. Not some fucking backup student. Right? Cheer up, Hajime. It doesn't matter if you're from the reserve department. Of course! She's right. No matter what, you are our friend. Aw, thanks, guys. You know, there's a saying in Japan. Listen! Fear is grateful for the danger. Hey! The hell? You're saying that all wrong. <laughs> oh, Jesus. So everyone was here. It was a real close battle. I am sorry! I apologize. I was trying to cheer you up, but I ended up saying the wrong thing. Oh, they're ignoring Monami too. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. Stuff is just hard to say sometimes. Huh? That's weird. Maybe you can't see me? Huh? Whoa, what the heck? You're covered in blood. Hmm? Oh, you saw me. Yes, that's right. The, the mono beast this time was very strong. You? Gross. Don't get close to me. Get out of here. What? No gratitude. I'm being treated like filth. Hey, hey. Hey, why don't you clean that blood off? We're trying to eat. <laughs> oh, yes. I'm ashamed of myself. Wipe, wipe, wipe. Ding, 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 ding. There we go. Now then, allow me to report to you all once again. After a fierce battle that's never been seen in history, I finally succeeded in conquering the last mono beast. <gasps> because of this, it's finally possible for you to travel to the- Oh, the final island! So we are getting to the end of it. Uh, I see. <laughs> what a thin reaction. It's like I'm surrounded by tons of shabu-shabu from an all-you-can-eat restaurant. Um, don't tell me this again. You're gonna say stuff like, it's not like we can get off this island. Why bother going to the new island? Well, it's true that I don't really expect much. Don't misunderstand. But who said we weren't gonna go? Obviously, we're gonna go, dumbass. Uh? Huh? So... Assuming we were thinking about running away was a mistake. I'll show you my Because if we can't side. run, we'll fight. I'll crush everyone who puts us through this crap in one blow. Hey, hey! Fight? Seriously, that fearsome group is called World Ender for a reason, you know? What are you saying? Did you forget what you said earlier? Hey, hey, hey! Dumbass, I only said that because I was trying to impress Miss Sonia. So I've already forgotten. Oh my god, I've already forgotten how to say her name. What? Don't brag about that. Settle down. If you have the power to fight among yourselves, then direct that power toward our enemy. All right. Now then, let us go forth. Offense is the best defense. Damn right. You're right. Now's not the time for us to be bickering. Hmm. I don't really get it, but when Miss Sonya talks like that, my blood starts to boil. All right! All right, I'm getting pumped up. Let's charge our way to that new island. I'm starting to get pumped up! The Future Foundation, Monokuma, Monami, I'll crush them all at once. That's... Even me? <laughs> you guys seem reliable. Hey, don't talk like you're not included. You're our friend too, you know. Mm. You're right. Leave it to me. Then I gotta do my best too. As we left the restaurant, the expression on our faces were clearly different than they were before. It's good to see them all pumped up like this, but it's sad knowing that there's probably going to be at least one more murder. They were filled with strong will and determination. Armed with that, we began walking toward the last island. 
but the clouds in my heart still lingered. I couldn't stop thinking about the reserve department. And that filled me with this strange, uncomfortable feeling, like a small bone was lodged in my throat. But I tried not to think about it. I tried to stay focused on moving forward. All right, chapter five, Smile at Hope in the Name of Despair. It's a very positive title, but how long is it going to be positive for? I feel like the more um, good people feel and like how positive everything seems, the worse it's going to get. With the mono beast gone, we crossed the fifth bridge and arrived at the final island. Oh boy. So this wow. is the last island. This is a very dark. Enormous buildings towered everywhere, as if the entire island were one gigantic city. I, that's exactly, that's exactly what I was thinking. It felt very sci-fi. It's like a, uh, oh, what's the word I'm thinking of? It's almost like a dystopian thing. As though the island was a snapshot of an urban metropolis from the near future. I guess it has an ambiance befitting of a final island. Oh boy, yeah, this is... Yeah, this is like some... Yeah, I don't- I don't care for this. <laughs> Where am I going? What am I doing? It's a very, uh, very stark difference from the last one, which was all like, amusement, happy time, colors, and this is just very gray. There's a bunch of strange machines lined up in all directions. It feels very sci-fi. Hmm. Sea King and Industries. Huh? Huh? They're a company that specializes in manufacturing electric insulation and other machine parts. They're a, uh, they're a mid-sized company with only 100 employees, but they're the biggest corporation on Jabberwock Island. And this place looks like a research facility. For a mid-sized company, this is a pretty nice facility. Uh, I guess so. I only read about them in a pamphlet next to the reception desk. Besides, the size of the company isn't the issue here. What's going on? This company obviously doesn't make machine parts, so just what the heck are they making here? He's right. It's like they're making something more dangerous. It seems like it might be a good idea to thoroughly investigate this place. This automated machine looks like it's making something. Is that a mannequin? Maybe. It's a humanoid machine. Is that a robot? You serious? How can they make robots? <gasps> Just how far did techno uh, technology advance without me knowing? Do you think Nekamara was made here? That was close. It's a similar humanoid robot. It's possible, maybe. Hey, hey, hey! But why would a company that manufactures machine parts have access to this kind of technology? I, I don't know. Maybe this place is somehow connected to the Future Foundation, too. Oh, and the Mono Beast. This machine is making another machine? The finished product looks like it's modeled after a four-legged animal. Hey, hey! Hey, doesn't that animal-looking machine remind you of anything? Are you talking about the Mono Beast? Maybe... Is there any chance that those Mono Beasts were created here? The Mono Beasts were created here? Fine, fine. Yep, that's what this place is for. Hey, hey! No matter how much you insist it's a game, people won't be convinced if a place like this doesn't exist, right? Bye-bye! That's why it's just fine. There's something wrong with what you. What the hell did he mean by that? He wasn't making any sense at all. <laughs> it doesn't matter who's convinced, because I'll never be convinced. What's going on? I mean, this place is for manufacturing machine parts. Why are they able to create such a dangerous robot in a place like this? Does this mean Monokuma took over this place and modified it to do this? I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. It's like there are the characters are slowly starting to realize that they're in a game. Uh, what are you thinking? Do I even want to know what you're thinking? Kazuichi, get a hold of yourself. Huh? Why? Because you just started laughing all of a sudden. <laughs> well, obviously. What else am I gonna do except laugh? I mean, it's just so childish. What are you talking about? Hey! Well, there's a computer over there, so I started snooping around to see if I could find any clues. Whoever was using this computer must have been sending emails to his buddy or something. <laughs> he was probably trying to write a manga or something. He sent one of his story ideas to his buddy. It was such a horrible, delusional story. I was so embarrassed to read it that it gave me goosebumps. Delusional story? 
So what was written in the email anyway? Well, I'll start with the idea for the story. Apparently, global riots are occurring in various regions across the world. And these riots were caused by high school students. I mean, seriously? That's not realistic at all. Yeah. So these riots just kept growing as people grow more dissatisfied and frustrated with society. Until eventually, it spread like an infectious disease all over the world. Hmm. Footage of the riots started getting circulated and strange incidents started occurring one after another. A hopeless anxiety instantly spread throughout the world as the end of the world gets closer and closer. End of the world? <laughs> I know, right? It sounds like something a lame high school band would think up as a song title. Hey. Whoever wrote this needs to come up with better story ideas because this wasn't realistic at all. Oh yes, because all of the stuff we're experiencing, this is completely normal. I mean, students causing a riot on that scale is totally impossible. I'd never believe it for a second. <laughs> but I learned a valuable lesson. I should always delete embarrassing emails right away. About that, are you sure it's okay to say it's just a made-up story? I'm trying to think, so... Um, did Nagi... I don't think Nagito told them about all the stuff. I'm trying to remember what these guys saw in that uh, Future Foundation file. I know Nagito, he's got... He's got the majority of it, so he knows stuff that we don't know. But, like, they definitely know about the previous, uh, you know, about the Future Foundation, the World Ender, uh, the previous thing with the high school students, so I don't understand why he would think that this is, like, so far out there. <laughs> of course. I mean, unrealistic things might happen in real life from time to time, but... Of course not! There's no way this is real. It's more impossible than a notebook that kills people just by writing in it. I understood that reference. <laughs> You're right. It's just a lot of, of unimaginable things have kept happening to us, so maybe I'm getting a little confused. But the world ending? There's no way something so unbelievable could actually happen. <laughs> well, at any rate, it's clear now, isn't it? What's clear? Uh, this used to be Sea King Industries, but it's not anymore. I see. After this island became uninhibited, Monokuma took over this place and modified it without permission. He did all this just to shock us. That's the reason? That's right! It's not so weird. This whole time, he's been doing similar stuff to us. But why? This is bad. Maybe there's a bunch of crazy rich dudes who are into this stuff. <gasps> They're the ones who are making us kill each other. Those bastards get off on watching kids kill each other. Hey, hey, hey! Wait, hold on. Now that I said it out loud, that's actually a terrible assumption. I mean... If that's true, then our fates are at the hands of those rich, perverted bastards. It sounds like something that would happen in a work of fiction. But the thought of it actually happening in reality is definitely unsettling. Alright, am I done with this place? Yes. It's funny how this island and the previous island, they're unsettling, but in two completely different ways. Alright, uh, that thing over there. Is that a tank? Is it real? Not just that, there's a lot of other stuff here that looks really dangerous. Man, this place is boring. Boring? What are you talking about? There's a tank here. You. I like strong dudes. Weapons don't excite me at all. Obviously. <laughs> a real man fights with his fists. Huh. That goes for women, too. Alright! You wanna battle a little? If you win, you can rest on my boob pillows. No thanks. Boob pillows. This helicopter. Is this the helicopter Mon Monokuma used to execute Teru Teru? This helicopter. Don't screw with me. Ow. Um. Hajime, what happened? It's nothing. I'm fine. I couldn't help punching it, but I just ended up hurting my fist. And Akane's just like, oh, you weak-ass little boy. Damn it, I'm so weak. I'm shocked that uh, Kazuichi didn't see this helicopter to see if we could, like, take this and fly out of here. Obviously, it wouldn't be that easy, but... This is a tank, right? Is it real? Can it move? Um... This appears to be a military base. Is that so? Despite the fact that this island is quite small, the military technology here seems rather extensive. All right! 
Right. These might prove useful when the time comes to combat the Future Foundation. Useful? There's no way we'd be able to operate stuff like tanks and heavy weapons. Huh? Really? In my country, even a child in grade school can operate a tank, no problemo. All right, we're gonna use uh, Sonya. She's going to lead the charge, no problemo. Um... A course in modern warfare is a required class in all our grade schools. An obsession with anime, and now this, Sonya's country never ceases to baffle me. However... However, weapons are only weapons when humans start to use them. I am concerned. If no one uses them, they are nothing more than scrap metal. You're right. Unfortunately, this stuff in the base probably won't be useful to us. Please wait! No, that is wrong. Huh? Um... Well, I have discovered a puzzling document in the tank operator's seat. That's the Future Foundation's insignia. Jabberwock Island Development Plan. What is this? However... I assume it belongs to Monokuma, and it was placed here rather ostentious... Uh, ostentiously. I do not know how much we can trust it. Do you think it could be a useful clue? Okay, there's no way Monokuma just happened to, like, leave it there. Obviously, he's intending for us to find these things. Monokuma, yeah. Monokuma probably did leave it. Like you said, it's hard to know how much we can trust it. So what does it say? Um... Beyond what is written in here, I do not know much. Well? But it does document Jabberwock Island's redevelopment plan at considerable length. What is that plan? To place Jabberwock Island under the Future Foundation's control and prepare it as a central headquarters. A central headquarters for the Future Foundation? I thought Jabberwock Island was a tourist destination. Why would the Future Foundation be interested in it? Um... In actuality, there was something written in here that caught my attention. The travel agency that, man that managed Jabberwock Island went bankrupt, so the island was uninhabited for a long time. Because of that, the island was unaffected by the incident, which allowed them to easily gain a foothold. Wait, hold on. This place was uninhabited for a long time? If that's true, the maintenance here has been way too attentive. The items at the supermarket are always stocked, and the hotel is still really clean. Could that be... Could that be the Future Foundation's responsibility? But more importantly, what's the incident? What does it mean that the island was unaffected by it? Um... I cannot discern that from this passage alone. Simply reading this will not help me grasp what those words mean. Well... However, there's one more thing that caught my attention. There's more? Do you remember the guidebook to Jabberwock Island in the library? Um, oh god, that seems like so long ago. It was written there that... The central island houses a large administrative building. However, we could not find that building anywhere. We even commented on how strange that was, right? However... But according to this plan, the building that the Future Foundation is planning to use for their headquarters... Could it be that same building? Um... They are planning to rebuild it and use it as the Future Foundation's headquarters, or so it is written. What the heck? It's so inconsistent. How do you rebuild a building that doesn't even exist? Damn it! what the hell is going on? Perhaps... We were so distracted by all of the horrible situations that kept happening, one after another. We might have overlooked a more pressing issue. And that is the mystery of this island. But what's really going on? This mystery doesn't make any sense. No matter how much we think about it, there's no reason behind it. I am, like, no closer to knowing anything. I'm guessing Nagito knows a lot more of this stuff because he has the files. He knows what the- I'm guessing he knows what the incident was? Is this a military truck? Unlike the airplane at the first island, this looks like it actually has an engine inside. But I don't even know how to drive. Just let Sonya do it, she'll take care of it. And besides, it's not like I can escape this island by driving off of it. Maybe she- uh, maybe Sonya knows how to pilot the helicopter, too. Okay, is there anything here? There's this truck as well. It's a military truck. There's something in the cargo box. Firearms, and there's a ton of them. There's a lot of different weapons, like guns and anti-tank rockets, uh, carelessly stacked in here. Is it really all right to handle these carelessly? I think I've got everything. Yes, all right. Nope, there we go. Wow, 
White smoke is billowing from the building in the back. Is this some kind of factory? But if it's got Monokuma's face on it, I'm sure it's a shady factory anyway. Hajime! Hajime, good timing. What's up, Chiaki? See? This building clearly looks suspicious, right? Everything on this island looks suspicious. I was thinking it might be good as if I thoroughly look around inside, but... Well? Since it clearly looks suspicious, I thought it would be dangerous to go alone. Then do you want to go inside together? Hmm. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't say, okay. Why are you hesitating? Oh, thanks, Chiaki. Come on. Beggars can't be choosers. I'm sorry if I'm not the one you wanted to go with. Alright, I'm going inside. Oh boy. What the heck is this? What was being manufactured one after another and being carried away on a conveyor belt was... Monokuma. The conveyor belt is endlessly moving through this enormous machine. The coconut tree carried by the conveyor belt is processed and eventually made into this stupid thing. Um, that door is... Um. I think that's the break room. That room is probably where the factory workers would take their breaks. I see. Looks like there's no point in going in there right now. She's just blankly staring at the machine. Looks like she's taken aback too. Well, it's obvious, I suppose. Well? Watching simple machines like this reminds me of games. Games? Yep. Like this one game where you just put caps on pens, or another game where you try to guess a person's gender. Is that even fun? The Monokumas are being tossed into this gigantic basket, one after the other. They better not be real. I picked one up with my hands. I see, so these are plushies. Monokuma plushies. Oh, the real Monokuma is sort of like a plushie too. But unlike him, these are probably actual plushies. <laughs> Isn't the resemblance uncanny? They're my life-size plushies. Life-size plushies? <laughs> I was planning to hit the big time with these. That's why I've been making them like crazy. Yahoo! I'm gonna be rich. <laughs> but you've made way too many. You're gonna be overstocked when it's all said and done. Monokuma's life-size plushie. I don't want it. Hmm. I see. So this place is for manufacturing life-size Monokuma plushies. What kind of messed up place is this? <laughs> don't look down on me. Do you really think it's just for life-size plushies? <laughs> there are a lot more Monokuma merch in the goods warehouse next door. Hey, hey. What should we do? Honestly, I really don't feel like going. But still. But what if there's some kind of important clue? What are you gonna do? You're right, then we should go there for just a little while. Uh, yeah, I guess I've seen everything here. Alright, let's get the heck out of here. So I'm guessing it's this is the place we want to go to, yep. Without thinking, I peeked into the piled up stacks of cardboard boxes. There's a Monokuma calendar, a Monokuma sandbag, and even a Monokuma guitar. First there was the Monokuma archive in the funhouse, and now there's a plushie factory and all these goods. How full of himself is he? <laughs> mascot popularity doesn't last forever. I gotta earn the big bucks while I can. A mascot that isn't popular anymore is like a piece of candy without any sugar. In other words, it has no reason for existing. He's starting to talk even crazier. This looks like a Monokuma panel, but why so many? Oh my gosh, he just keeps popping up. I was thinking about using these to decorate the stores that sell my merch and make them look all boom. Then they'd stand out, you know? No store would sell your stuff. You're so stupid! Of course not. You're such a fool. That's why I'll open an official Monokuma shop. I'm thinking about opening chains all over the world. Of course, the main attraction will be my life-size Monokuma plushie. Can't believe you thought that far into the future when you made these. Your business is doomed to fail. Hey! Enough already. You have no business sense anyway, so just stop it. 
No, no! Hey, hey, don't say that. Let's do our best together. We'll be as popular as Pogs were in the 90s. The sad thing is, I remember being in the 90s and playing with Pogs. I am old. <laughs> hey, hey! Um, don't you remember how long those stayed popular? Besides, if you're serious about opening a business, you've already committed a major mistake. I won't forgive because you! Because there's no merch of me! My little sister! Oh, Monami, my little sister. Don't you know the, uh, Aesop's fable about the rabbit and the bear? Hmm? Not a tortoise? Hey! A um... long, long time ago, there were these two old guys. Hey! Two old guys living together? Shing! The old guys thought rabbits aren't as popular as bears. The end. Ooh. Did you even need the old guys in that story? In other words... So even if I made merch of you, it's pointless. <laughs> a half-pink rabbit is so lame, you don't even have one ounce of good fashion sense. You stupid brother! You did this to me! You're the one who has no fashion sense. <laughs> what a hopeless way of snapping back! But honestly, I can't help but feel like I might have made too many panels. Special bleeding service! So, whoever wants to decorate the room, please do it as much as you like. Here! Come on, what are you waiting for? <gasps> Hajime, let's run. You're right. Even she can't handle it anymore. We ran out of the warehouse, narrowly avoiding Monokuma's plan for inventory disposal. Well, that was pointless. It's like you just got tired. <sighs> yeah, you're right. Is there anything else that she has to say? There are never hints in obviously suspicious places. Anyone who looks obviously suspicious isn't the killer. <laughs> it's like she's talking directly to, uh, to us about this whole situation. Yep. That's usually the norm. Alright. Well, I guess, uh, no point in going back in there. Or should I go back in there? Because I didn't even really get to explore it. I got to look at one thing, and then they kicked me out, essentially. And there was quite a few things to look at. All this stacked up stuff is a bunch of CDs. Mm. I thought these were going to be video games, but they're just music CDs. The jacket says, Monokuma's collection of songs and ballads. Is he planning to release an album? Mm. Character songs are all the rage these days, but I'm not all that interested in derivative works like that. Never heard of a mascot selling his own character songs. Um. Plus, it looks like he's already produced his hundredth song. See, the hundredth track is a festive, psychopop dance rap that he performs with all his might. I don't even know where to begin. Like, I wonder if Chiaki, you know, the whole thing about, like, you never find clues in the obviously suspicious place was, like, her way of saying there's nothing really in here, but, I mean, I gotta check. There's a bunch of books stacked up high. What in the world are these? Monokuma's poetry collection? How oh, stupid. Who the hell is gonna read this crap? Hey, hey. There's another book here, too. Let's see. Monokuma's Most Precious Moments. See? That's the actual title of this book, but it's a <laughs> it's a collect uh, collection of nude photos. Monokuma's already naked. Yep. I know. <laughs> okay, maybe Chiaki wasn't wrong about there not being anything in here. It's like I can just tell from the ambience there are no important clues here. At least we confirm that. All right, I get it. There's nothing in here for me to see. But it's almost like the more that the game tells me that there's nothing in there, the more that I want to look, just in case. Um... Okay, so we've already checked out. Yeah, so we'll just... Sorry, Chiaki, I'm out. Yo. Oh, jeez, hi! Hey, Hajime, I was looking for you. What's up, Fuhiko? Well... I was thinking you've probably finished exploring this island by now. You're right, I think I've explored everywhere at least once. Oh boy, this is a pretty small island. Damn right! Do you want to meet up with everyone and discuss things? Yeah, I don't mind. Huh. I figured it would be annoying if we all went back to the hotel for this. But there's a street nearby lined with food vendors, so I told everyone to meet up there. Later. I'm heading over there right now. Hurry up and come over. After letting me know, Fuyihiko left the area. He actually took the time to tell everyone about that, huh? Well, now's not really the time to be impressed by something like that. Be bad to make the others wait. I should hurry over to the street with the food stands. 
I wonder if that's the game hinting that I can't go back to the hotel now. So I can, like, buy all my stuff here if I need to, like, you know, for my free time events. Assuming I get free time events anymore. Huh. Alright, looks like everyone's here. Huh? What about Nagito? <laughs> yeah, I forgot about him. Who cares? It's not like he's our friend or anything. Like... I couldn't get in touch with him. I don't know where the hell he is or what he's doing. Now then. So, how did it go? Did you learn anything about the Future Foundation? Hmm... Not really. Like, I feel like I learned stuff, but I also feel like I didn't learn anything. <laughs> That's basically how I feel throughout this whole game a lot of the times. <laughs> it's not clear which information we found is believable, if any. However... I believe there is no question that the Future Foundation is behind everything that has been going on. Well... Are we sure about that? Huh? Huh? What are you saying? If they're not our enemy, then what are they? If they're our ally, there's no way they trap us on this island. Well, yeah. It's true, but there's something I've been thinking about. Hey! Monami works for the Future Foundation, right? She's pretty much admitted it by this point. But even though Monokuma is forcing us to kill each other, Monami has been opposing him. Huh? You mean pretending to oppose him, right? That's wrong. No, I don't think she's pretending. They clearly hate each other. Hmm. <laughs> then it's possible that the enemy of our enemy is actually an ally. Because she opposes Monokuma, you think she's our ally? Please wait! Even if they both oppose one another, is it not possible that they are both our enemy? I'm starting to get pumped up! Like a three-way battle. That's kind of hot. Hey! Why, after all this time, are you suddenly backing up the Future Foundation? Whoa! Are you talking like that because you're actually the traitor that's working for them? Damn it! Yeah, we gotta- we still have to figure out who the traitor is. Don't be a fucking idiot. I won't be fooled! No way, you're clearly suspicious. I mean, if- <laughs> You know what, I shouldn't get on Kazuichi's case about suspecting Fuhiko, because let's be honest, I've been guilty of doing that in the past. Settle down! Kazuichi Soda, shut up! <laughs> oh. I love her. Bow down before the queen. <laughs> yes! Listen! There never was a traitor. Monokuma lied to us. Oh my! Lied? Well? It is simply a false entity that Monokuma made up so we would be suspicious of each other. You insolent fool! How can you not believe in your friends after everything we've endured together? <sighs> weak. How weak. Man. Instead of facing the problem directly and overcoming it, you're desperately trying to run away. Such despair. That weakness is hopeless. Nagito. He always has to come in and make a big show of it, doesn't he? Nagito, where have you been this whole time? Jeez. I wonder where your thought process wandered off to. As usual, you guys just keep running around in circles. What are you, hamsters? Oh, speaking of hamsters, I still don't know what happened to Gundams. I was hoping that, uh, that Sonia would take them, but... <laughs> Oops, if I compare you guys to hamsters, will I get yelled out by that weakling who dropped out? That is... What, what does that... Now then! You asked where I've been this whole time, right? Well... Well, I was in the middle of looking for someone. Looking for someone? <sighs> I thought that person might have already arrived, but I guess I was wrong. <laughs> or maybe that person is hiding in a secret location and carefully watching us? Who are you, you... talking about? Are you saying there's someone else on this island besides us? <laughs> it's probably the survivor of the killing school life. Oh my god, are you... What? Are you saying that someone from the first game is here? That's the person that Monokuma was talking about? Huh? Oh, How snap. About it? If so, a lot of things might start adding up, don't you think? Are you talking about Byakuya? He's the survivor you're talking about, right? What? Huh? <laughs> oh, I see. You guys have only reached that stage. You. What stage? You're not making sense at all. Not making sense! <laughs> Jeez. But still, if you think about it properly, you might be able to figure it out. Why would Byakuya, a survivor of the killing school life, die in vain like he did at the very beginning? Right? Oh my god, are you saying that Byakuya didn't actually die? <gasps> what? Don't you think it's strange? Huh? What does that mean? That is an order! The issue is not with what he means. Please take back what you said about Byakuya dying in vain. That's right! Yeah, listen to Miss Sonia. Well? You have been acting very strange lately. I do not like this version of Nagito we have been witness to. Huh. I don't like it either. Well, I never liked you in the first place. This is troubling. Oh, it looks like I'm being hated. Well, that's understandable. There's no way you guys can even comprehend my suffering. Well... 
Knowing the truth can be pretty painful in its own way. The truth? He's not gonna... He's not gonna tell us. He's just gonna, like, lead us along. Just gonna dangle that carrot in front of our faces, but he's not gonna actually come out and say it. <laughs> Curious, are you? But why don't I tell you guys that after we found out who the traitor is? Huh? Actually... To tell you the truth, I still haven't figured out who the traitor is. <laughs> but it won't take me very long. You guys don't have to worry. I'll weed out the traitor, even if, even if it costs me my life. What? You're going to weed out the traitor? Please wait! As I've already said, there is no traitor. Oh god, I hope Sonya's not saying this because she's the traitor. <laughs> I'll bet in the end, you're just gonna raise your hand and go, I'm actually the traitor, right? <laughs> you're a funny guy, Kazuichi. But why don't I tell you guys that after we found out who the traitor is? If I'm able to wipe out all the despair on this island, will I... This is exciting! Will I become the ultimate hope? Ultimate hope? You... What the hell are you talking about? Have you finally lost your damn mind? Now then! I should get going, but if you see Monokuma again, there's something I want you to tell him. Tell him he doesn't need to provide a motive anymore. Huh? <laughs> tell him not to worry, because I'm planning to go all out. Besides, the next one will probably be the last. Okay, well that's the game straight up telling me that we are coming to the last... Well, then again, I should never listen to what the game is telling me. Could it be? Nagito, what does that mean? Bye now. Bye. <laughs> Nagito ignored Chiaki's question and left us. We were powerless to stop him. It was clear to us that trying to stop him would just be useless. Hey, hey! I don't want to think about it, but... Could he be planning a kill? Are you kidding me?! A, a kill? Who? Who is he gonna kill? Damn it! Based on how he was talking, it looks like his target is the traitor. Please wait! There is no such person. Oh god, girl. The more you deny it, the more I'm to- I can't help. Now that I'm not, uh, now that I'm trying not to, like, suspect Fuyuhiko now has gone on to, like, my other favorite character. I mean, the notion that one of us has been deceiving us all along. I will never, ever believe that. And there's also a part of my- I can't help but think it might be Chiaki, too, just because she's basically been, like, my sidekick. And it's always the ones that are the closest to you, I feel like, in this game, that will turn around and betray you. Uh, like Sonia said, I can't believe it either. I don't think any of us could do that. But what if it's Nagito? Or what if whoever it is has forgotten about- Oh, snap, so the traitor might not even know they're the traitor. What if the traitor has forgotten they're the traitor? Just like how I, I forgot, I don't have a talent. Uh, well, regardless of who he's targeting, there's a high chance he's planning to kill, right? That's right! Then we gotta tie him up again. Forcing him to stop is the only way. Oh. It's impossible. Nekamaro's not even here anymore. I'll show you my yeah, serious I was gonna say, side. Why do we need Nekamaro? Kane's tough. I've got what it takes to deal with someone as weak as him. I'm here too! <laughs> huh? Then that's a yes, right? Just leave it to me. Once I come up with a plan, we'll meet up again. Tie up Nagito, huh? Kazuichi is right. It's dangerous to let Nagito wander freely. If we're being cautious, we have to act fast. But what is this indescribable anxiousness I'm feeling? I hope it just means I'm thinking too much. For the time being, we decided to finish our exploration of the final island. And return to the hotel. Okay, good. At least I get to go back to, uh, and get some potential gifts. It was already dark by the time we returned to the hotel. Oh my god, it's been so long since I've been here. I'm just like, oh, there I am. For some reason, I'm really tired today. Well, since I walked around all day today, I was able to obtain several clues. Although I'm not really certain if you can even call them clues. Instead, I feel like we're just suffering from more mysteries that don't make sense. This isn't good. As soon as nighttime hits, I can't stop thinking all these pessimistic thoughts. This might be a bad habit of mine. I should just get some sleep for today, rest my mind for a while, and then I'll give this some more thought tomorrow. Actually, words are extremely dangerous. Unlike letters, words cannot be undone with erasers or with a backspace. That's why you need to be extremely careful. Same goes for me. There was a time in my past when I went through a lot of trouble because of that. 
That's right, when I was being trained at the safari park. At the time, there were two animals at that park that I got along with. One was a squirrel named uh, Sir Dietrich, and the other was a fox named Chaka Jr. To be honest, Chaka Jr. was really stupid. If a female employee tried to have a serious talk with him, he'd just stare at her boobs the whole time. That's why Sir Dietrich would order him to steal panties. And that idiot would get really happy when he exchanged the panties he stole for Dietrich's old undies. Oh god. Also, this one time, the three of us went to a steakhouse and the waiter asked, how would you like it cooked? Chaka Jr. proudly said, with fire. Sir Dietrich was pretty crafty. He knew how to play Chaka Jr. He made Chaka Jr. abduct a fawn and drown it. Then he saved that drowning fawn himself. And he made Chaka Jr. tell everyone about it. Man, he really did some shady things. Anyway, the three of us were getting along together. We were living a fun life in the safari park. Until the day I ended up saying those words. I accidentally said this to Chaka Jr. Foxes are squirrels' natural enemies. The next day, I stumbled across what was left of Dietrich Sr. He had been eaten. Good thing I immediately tattled to a male employee so he could put down Chaka Jr. with a hunting rifle. Even now, I regret saying what I said back then. What the hell? Squirrels have it rough. They have so many natural enemies. I'm pretty sure everyone's starting to meet up. For now, I should head on over to the restaurant. And Chiaki at her old spot again. Hey, Chiaki. Hey, Chiaki. I wasn't sleeping. Yes, you were. Totally not sleeping. I was playing a game. You were sleeping while you were playing a game? There's always time for gaming. That doesn't make any sense. Anyway, you look more tired than usual. Last night, I had a weird dream that woke me up in the middle of the night, so maybe that's why. A weird dream? Well, it was a Monokuma puzzle game. It was like one of those tile falling games where you make falling Monokumas disappear by creating a chain. Mm. But no matter how much I played, I just couldn't beat it and the Monokumas just fell endlessly. Why did I have a dream like that? It's probably because we saw that factory where those Monokuma goods are made. <laughs> Yo, Hajime, check it out. I'm already eating. As usual, you're eating a lot. Well, she's like, I got some time to make up. A lot of food that she didn't get to eat before. Well, we might get locked in a place like the fun house again. So I gotta eat when I can. Eat well! Shit well! <laughs> yes! Oh, I love, uh, what's his name? Uh, Nick, Mini Maru. That's it. For now. Okay, now that we've finished our breakfast, let's jump right into the main topic. Hey, I'm still eating here. I just got here. I haven't had a chance to eat anything yet. It's okay. I'm pretty much done eating. You selfish little... You know, right? And of course, the main topic is about our plan to capture Nagito that we're supposed to carry out today. You know Nagito, like, is expecting this. He's got something planned for this. It cannot be! Are you really going to do it? Of course. I spent all night coming up with this plan. <laughs> that means I haven't slept for two days straight. Don't you think my effort should count for something? Hey, bastard. We get it. Hurry up and spill that plan of yours already. Hmm. Well, I thought up several plans, but in the end, I figured that a straightforward plan would be the best. Uh. One of us will be the decoy who lures Nagito into the lobby by telling him we need to talk to him there. Oh, yeah, because I'm sure Nagito is going to trust us to do that, you know. And then at the best possible moment, the two task force members will move in and swiftly capture Nagito. All right! So that's the plan. What do you think? <laughs> it's easy to understand, so I'm cool with it. Anyway, are there any bananas left? You... So now, I will present each of you with your role. Of course! Since it's my plan, I'll take the role of commander. I won't let anyone object to that. Hey, hey! But commander sounds like the most fun. Hey! Hey, didn't I just say I won't let anyone object? Right! Next, I'll present the two task force members. These big roles go to you two, Fuyihiko and Akane. Um, yep, sure um, thing. Jeez. Got no choice. Pathetic. You know, right? And the person burdened with the core of this plan, the decoy who is who has to lure Nagito, 
I'll give that roll to Chiaki. Oh, wow, I thought it was going to be me because he seems to have a grudge against me. No way. No way. <laughs> what did you say? So... I mean, it's not like I ever agreed to this plan. Hey, hey. <laughs> He's like, damn, I didn't see that coming. I it's going to be fine. It's not like you're going to tie him up. You're just going to lure him. Well... Besides, there's no way I'd ask Miss Sonia to take on such a dangerous role, you know? Oh, you, you are such a gentleman. So please, I'm begging you. Hey, hey. What a rude way to ask for help. If Mahiru was here, she would have beaten you up. Ugh, R.I.P. Mahiru. I wish she had... I wish she had been one of the ones to stay through to the end with the rest of these guys. You. Instead of Kazuichi. I mean, you did say earlier that you definitely can't accept killing. <laughs> Isn't that right? I need your help to stop another killing. Hey! And didn't I just say I'm begging you? Why are you snapping at her all of a sudden? Oh. Fine. All right. You're gonna do it? All right, then this lineup is perfect. Hey, Sonia and I haven't been given roles. What should we do? <laughs> Sonia has the role of princess. That doesn't make any sense. For now. And you're on chore duty. I want you to supply the rope we need to tie up Nagito. Bow down. Denied. Whoa. Why? Listen. If Hajime has nothing to do anyway, he shall accompany me. Oh, oh, oh Kazuichi, that blew up in your face. Miss Sonia? No, like I said, he needs to supply the rope. You must not! This is not a request. This is an order. That is an order! An order, I tell you. There is somewhere I must go. Ah. Uh, gug, 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 gug. Fine. If Hajime and Miss Sonia are free, it's fine. I'll leave that matter Good. to your discretion. Repeat that. Oh, I love that she's using, like, her authority on him. Damn it! If Hajime and Miss Sonia are free, it's fine. T to object so forcefully, where do you need to go, Sonia? I shall tell you in due time. We will be discovered if I speak too loudly. What did you you're, say? You're gonna be alone with Hajime at a secret place? Ugh, for now. Damn it! We'll carry out the plan tonight. All of you, make sure you prepare your bodies and minds. Huh? Is our commander going to be okay? His energy seems to have dropped pretty drastically. Let's all disperse for now. He's like, <laughs> I gotta go cry. Now then, please come to the hotel lobby in 30 minutes. Yeah, sure thing. After our planning meeting had ended, I quickly finished eating my breakfast. By the time I made it back to my cottage, it was already close to the time I agreed to, make, uh, to meet Sonia. Alright, she said, yes, hotel lobby. Oh, Kasuichi, of course he's parked outside waiting. I need to talk to him. He's so mad at me. Oh, there's one of me, too. <laughs> Shut the hell up, you useless rabbit. You can't! No, I won't be quiet. I cannot accept this plan. Hey, what happened? Man. Well, that Monami bastard apparently heard about our plan. I won't forgive you! You can't. Your teacher can't allow this plan. Shut up! Shut it's not up. like we want to do this. We're just doing it because Nagito's dangerous. That's right! He's planning to kill someone. This is just self-defense. I... But, but I still can't ignore it. I can't allow my students to fight among themselves. Love... Love. I think we're a little past that, Monami. We're like, we've literally killed a bunch of people, so... <laughs> Shut the hell up, you useless rabbit. Looks like they're talking in circles. It might be better if I just leave them alone. If they keep shouting like that, I'm pretty sure Nagito might overhear them. Oh, there she is. Hajime, you are late. I'm right on time. Wait, should I have come a little earlier? A little earlier? In my country, you are severely punished if you do not arrive 13 minutes before an arranged meeting time. For such an orderly country, 13 minutes is a pretty arbitrary rule. That is... Oh, I see. This is culture shock. Then, I guess that can be overlooked. So, where are you planning to go? I just have to come along, right? Well... Of course. It is a place that pertains to this discovery we made yesterday. Jabberwock Island Development Plan? Did you find out something about it? Um... How should I say this? After reading this document over and over again, I suddenly realized... The Future Foundation was planning to rebuild a facility on this island to use as their headquarters. You're talking about the large administrative building on the central island, right? But I couldn't find a building like that anywhere. Maybe they said something about a different island? Do you have a minute? Or what if their plan suddenly changed and they had to use a different facility? 
a different facility? Well, was there not a facility on this island inscribed with the symbol of the Future Foundation? Yeah, I was wondering when we we're gonna go back to this place. This place obviously is gonna hold like all of the mysteries of this island. Like this is gonna come back in a big way. As I recall, the ancient ruin on the second island has had such a symbol on their door. Yeah, you're right. The Japanese word for future, Mirai, was inscribed there. If that's the case, that ruin might be connected to the, uh, to the Future Foundation, right? However, the discrepancies in the document are strange, but there is no doubt that that ruin is quite suspicious. You're right. I'd completely forgotten about it after being locked inside the funhouse, but the possibility that the ancient ruin is connected to the Future Foundation is incredibly high. I knew there was something strange about that place. Sonia, after hearing all this, I want to go there as much as you do. I'll definitely come with you. <laughs> then, I may not be competent, so please be patient with me. Oh, please, please, I... I... I'm assuming she's doing this... You know, not as the traitor. Oh, Jesus, hi! Hi, I was not expecting her to be right behind me. And I'm sure she just wants to be helpful. But I'm just like, please, God, don't let her be the traitor. <laughs> it's pretty refreshing to eat food by the pool. She's still eating. <laughs> Not a big shocker there. Oh, oh, okay, let's get around her and... Uh, oh, God, what's... Uh, trying to remember... Oh, hello, Chiaki. Trying to remember what island that was on. Hey, hey. Hey, what exactly does Kazuichi do as a commander? How should I know? Well... In games, commanders are usually flags. Flags? Um, if you defeat the commander, no matter how many of their units are left, you still secure a victory. Even damaging the commander is enough to decrease the opponent's morale. As far as plans go, it's a pretty standard tactic. I'll leave that matter Wonderful. to your discretion. That plan has my seal of approval. <laughs> Continue to target the commander. Oh my god, the I love how much she dislikes Kazuichi. You're totally mistaking who to fight. What's the point of targeting Kazuichi? She's like, because I don't care for him. That is... You are right. What a shame. Shame? Kazuichi heard that his rapidly diminishing enthusiasm might plummet into the negatives. I don't know why, but I'm starting to feel sorry for that guy. Eh, I'm not. Alright, now that I actually have some coins, I definitely- I have not been able to do this for such a long time. Oh, right there! Aw, oh, man, I still can. I wanted to get some gifts. Okay, gotta listen to the princess. Oh boy, which building- or which, uh, can't remember which island it was. I think it was... Uh, the second one? I hope I'm going in the right direction. I can't even remember what's on this island. Okay, well, Sonya's here, so I'm guessing that's the right one. Oh, well, there it is right there. Perfect. Uh, no matter how many times I see this place, it certainly gives me the willies. However... Well, we should not dwell on that. After all, we are here to look for clues. That's right. There's no doubt we'll find something here. All right, let's start. Now that I'm taking a closer look at it, the door looks even stranger. For a building that looks pretty run down and shabby, this door looks very high tech. Future, huh? This is a real gun. Is this building so important that it requires this much security? liquid crystal display next to the door. It's probably it. This is probably the key. This door will probably open if we input the correct numbers. Please wait! We have discussed this before as well, but it would be dangerous to test it hap uh, haphazardly. Well? If we make a mistake, it is possible we will be fired upon by that gun. I can think of no other reason for that gun to be there. As long as that's a possibility, it would be bad if we act recklessly. Okay, I was like, please don't make me have to just start punching in random numbers for things that I was supposed to be paying attention to that I was not. I am concerned. That is right. Courage and recklessness are completely different. 
If we were shot out by a gun like that, you would have more holes in you than a Beatrice nest. You mean a bee's nest? Yeah. In, in my wrong. country, we use the expression Beatrice nest. I love every time she says something and we're just like, what? She's like, uh, in my country, that's how you say it. Anyway, right now, we definitely shouldn't test it out so recklessly. I see. In order I to see. open this door, we must find the password first. Or destroy the door with some kind of explosive force. No, that's impossible. This door looks extremely sturdy. It's definitely better if we find out if we find out the password instead. All right, all we have to do next is find out what that password is. It's a good thing we came here so we can at least find that out. You're right. But the problem is, where would we obtain that password? Oh, I wonder if Nagito has it in his in the file he got. It's all about the Future Foundation, so I wouldn't be surprised. When we first came here, even Monokuma and Monami said they didn't know the password. If they really don't know it, how are we supposed to find out? As usual, it's a mystery, huh? After finishing our investigation of the ancient ruin, Son- uh, sorry? Sonia and I decided to go back to our cottages for now. It's still the middle of the day. Looks like I have some free time. Now then, what should I do? Yay, free time! Huh. I miss being able to do this uh, not in the fun house. It's a little bit more open and not quite so dreary and we're not all dying of starvation, so... Alright, well, the question always is who to hang out with. Obviously, I always want to hang out with my faves, and uh, that means not <laughs> Kazuichi. But first things first, let's uh, let's go and get some more gifts. I can actually go get gifts now. That was funny. Someone uh, brought it up <laughs> in the comments back when I was like doing the free time when I was at the fun house. Was like Fihiko was talking about, especially like how hungry he was, and I. <laughs> I forgot that I actually had gifts that were like food like I had like rations and I had like some candy and stuff And it was just the idea of Hajime secretly hoarding all this food from everybody and he's hanging out with them And everybody's talking about how hungry they are <laughs> and I had this food and I didn't give them any I'm like I didn't even think about that But it's funny when you think about how the whole time I was in the fun house. I secretly did have food All right. So yes, let's get into this. I've got some coins it's been a while since I've been able to do this. I'm excited. I probably shouldn't buy too many gifts considering I am getting to the end of the game and just in case I come across a situation like the dead room where I might need some coins to bypass a puzzle I don't want to do I'll make sure I have at least a uh, hundred coins so maybe I'll get one more thing okay one more one more thing Alright, uh, well, let's hope that I actually got some stuff there that people might like. Maybe I'll pop over to the market and grab some, like, stuff as well, but let's, uh, let's actually take a look and see what I did, uh, manage to get. Uh, mineral water, I could have got that from the vending machine. I got a coconuts. I don't know who would enjoy the dress. Ah, oh, the ultimate masseuse. Nekamara would have enjoyed that. Dang. And the th thermometer, Mikon would have liked that. I just get these gifts and I'm just like thinking of the people that would have enjoyed them. Okay, well, maybe I'll just go and grab some, uh, some quick gifts at the market. 
I know that Fuhiko likes sweet things, so I am going to definitely get him something because I'm pretty sure I'm going to hang out with him. And I'll probably hang out with Sonia as well. I've got a couple of gifts I think she would like. And I kind of have a bad feeling that because Sonia is like wanting to... I feel like she's... She might be the next to go. I don't know why I have that feeling, but I do. And Kazuichi, I don't want to hang out with you. So it's a whole thing where it's like, maybe it's kind of pointless for me to hang out with someone if they're going- if I think they're going to die, but at the same time I want to get to know them more before I lose the chance. Like, there's so many characters that I wish I could have spent more time with. Okay, here we go. Just grabbed a couple of, uh, snacks. Now, uh, let's actually find out where the people I do want to hang out with are hiding themselves. Oh, okay, they're right at the hotel. Great. Oh, Chiaki. Uh, I guess I could hang out with Chiaki, too. I don't know, hanging out with Chiaki is just, she just does a lot of sleeping while we hang out. She's, uh, not exactly the most upbeat person to hang out with. All right, hey, hey, baby gangsta. We are so gonna be besties, come on. Jeez. My capture plan, huh? Will they really be able to capture Nagito with such a stupid plan? Hell yeah, let's go. Damn right. I, I mean, I don't mind, but do you actually enjoy hanging out with me? That's so sweet that he, like, isn't used to people actually wanting to hang out with him because of, you know, his past and everything. Alright, let's see if he likes... What did I... I got some chicken... Uh, chocolate chip jerky, but I also got... Um... He said he likes sweet things. Shaved ice. Maybe he would like that. Uh, you know what? Let's let's give him that and see if he likes it. Huh? Uh, well, if you're gonna give that to me, I'll take it. Although, this thing doesn't really look that useful. It's not supposed to be useful. It was a nice sweet treat for you. Hey. Hey, Hajime. Is there any woman who's important to you? Oh, what kind of question is that? It's fine. Do you have one or not? Um, honestly, I've never seriously thought about it. Huh. You're such a kid. If you did have one, I was gonna tell you to take good care of her, but I guess it's a bit too soon for you. Aw, Fuhiko, he's thinking about Peko. Jeez. When you do have one someday, make sure you take good care of her. Don't be like me. Uh, I've lost two important women. Oh, his sister too. Poor Fuyuhiko, man. Oh yeah. Peko committed her crime because his little sister was killed, and he feels like so helpless that he couldn't do anything about it. Huh? Don't feel sorry for me. It's not like I wanted to make this awkward. <laughs> but if my sister were still alive, I'd really want you guys to meet her. You'd probably be shocked. If you put it like that, she must have been one hell of a sister. You! Do you know what my sis's ultimate talent was? She was the ultimate little sister. Isn't that funny? The ultimate little sister? How is she an awesome little sister? It's hard to put into words exactly. Anyway, she was definitely an amazing sister. She was always making a fool of me, but it was always cute when she'd need my help. If she cooked fried noodles during the temple festival, a huge line would form outside the temple. <laughs> and she got an insane number of contracts from hand towel companies, you know? She was self-centered, selfish, extremely arrogant. But even so, she had this subtle way of making people do what she wanted. So... She definitely deserved to be called the ultimate Yakuza. Within the clan, she was even called the reincarnation of my uncle, who was the most powerful of the Ku- uh... Kuzuru- Kuz I can't say that last name, dang it! The most powerful of the Kuzurus. I'd like to know more about that, too. Well... It's before my time, so I don't really know the details, but... Apparently, he was known as the Overlord of the South. They say his final confrontation with the detective who was pursuing him nearly destroyed the world. <laughs> well, that's obviously just a rumor. Of course it's just a rumor. That would be outrageous if it wasn't. I... Well, anyway, she was a really annoying little sister who pissed me off. But even so, she was the only little sister I ever had. Even when a faction within the Kuzuryu clan wanted to make her our next leader, she said this. I don't want to lead the clan. The reason I'm so amazing is because I'm your sister. <laughs> she said that even though she was better than me at everything. To you, your sister must have truly been the ultimate little sister. Huh. <laughs> Maybe. But still, when she said that to me, I couldn't accept it. All I could do was yell at her and say, You lead. I can live by myself. I... Just, how small was I? 
Oh my gosh, I am so glad that I hung out with him. I learned about him. He's opening up more. Dude, you better make it to the end of the game with us, please. Why am I even talking to you about this? Huh? It's probably, you know, that harmless looking face of yours. You're one to talk, baby face. Is that a compliment or an insult? Hmm. Who knows? Anyway. Well, anyway, sorry about that. I guess I got all sentimental and shit after all. I really don't mind. If you think I look like someone who's easy to talk to, then I'll listen to you as much as you want. <laughs> Don't act like hot shit, you virgin. <laughs> I see, so you're not... Sh shut you... up! Don't talk back to me so calmly. Even though it's happening gradually, I know Fuyuhiko is slowly opening up to me. I learned a couple of things about him today. Once again, I feel like I was able to understand Fuyuhiko a little bit. Alright, next I definitely want to hang out with Sonya. I feel like uh, Fuyuhiko and Sonya are the most fun to talk to. Fuyuhiko because I like really didn't know too much about him for so long and now I'm like learning kind of a whole bunch of stuff about him like very rapidly and Sonya is just like such a funny character. Just her like juxtaposition between being uh, nobility and also you know being obsessed with like anime and and stuff like that so yeah i like definitely like hanging out with her too i hate to say that i'm you know i kind of like ignore akane and uh and kazuichi i just don't find them very interesting characters i either find them oh god there's nagito too oh sh right i could hang out with nagito but i will hang out i've already said i'm gonna hang out with sonya ah oh, but at the same time if we're gonna be doing this plan tonight Maybe I should hang out with Nagito, but I feel like he's gonna be such a dick to me. Before hanging out with him, it was like, you know, I could- he would just be so thankful for the attention, but now he just thinks I'm trash. But I think that would actually be kind of fun to hang out with him if- yeah, sorry, Sonya. Sonya. Hopefully I will get a chance to hang out with her another time. Hopefully nothing happens to her before I get a chance to. But yeah, we'll hang out with Nagito. Just because I am curious to see how he's going to treat me now. What is it? Although I'm not being as extreme as Fuyuhiko was, I don't intend to interact with you guys at all. Come on, go away. Looks like it's pointless to talk to him. Oh, alright, never mind then. <laughs> alright, time to go hang out with my best girl then. I guess I should have expected that reaction. Um, capturing Nagito, is that really the right thing to do? I... If everyone agrees to it, I do not intend to object. However, will that solve anything? Oh my god, I just realized. The Earrings of Crushed Evil. Once again, it's uh, it's another thing I feel like captures her kind of thing where she's got like a little bit of a dark side to her, but it's also like something feminine. Uh, should I give that to her? Because I do also have... Oh, uh, what's the thing I have I think she would like? It was like a makeup compact thing, and I think she would enjoy that as well. And then there's this too, the handkerchief. You know what, I'm gonna give her the handkerchief. I feel like she would like that. My! Quite a trendy item. <laughs> I have come to like it. Thank you very much, Hajime. Well? There is something I would like to ask you today. Sure, what? Shush, lower your voice. We do not know who might be listening in. Now then, come closer. No need to worry. As Sonia said that, she walked up to me one step at a time. Wow, she smells nice. Hajime, do you happen to know a lot about the occult? Huh? Uh, not really. Then... Then what about cults? Uh, not at all. That is... I see. You certainly are deceptive. I am finished talking to you. Let us disperse for now. 
Hold on a sec. What in the world were you talking about? I am concerned. You are hopeless. Since I have already sailed this far, I shall sink you into the ocean. That's not how you say it. I... Though I understand it is a forbidden interest for a princess, I am quite interested in Freemasonry. Of course, my interest is purely academic. I have no intention of conspiring to th overthrow the government. Well? But when I think about Freemasonry, my chest begins to hurt. It sounds like she's in love. However... However, it seems not many people understand this feeling of mine. And because of that, I feel quite lonely. Sometimes I feel like I could just cry. Sonia's ho hobbies are pretty intense. Please wait! However, expanding my knowledge like this is the duty of every member of the royal family. And that is why I'm interested in the occult, cult, and popular dramas. When she puts it like that, it sort of makes sense, but... Hajime, please think about it. Do you not agree that dismissing a different set of values due to ignorance is foolish? How cruel. How many foolish wars have been fought on the basis of that ignorance? Do you have a minute? My country is certainly no exception. We still have many unique traditions that other cu uh, cultures would not truly understand. Unique traditions, huh? That reminds me, I think she mentioned one, one of them. Oh boy. Oh crap. Uh, was it... Mar oh no, was it... I feel like it's Makengo? Or was it Marango? You're talking about Marengo, right? Um... Aww. Once again, it's probably going to be the very last thing I pick, isn't it? Yes, you mean Makengo, right? However... Yes, but that is not the only one. Our country has another tradition in which you are not acknowledged as an adult until you consume a skong. A skong? I... However, I think my generation should be objecting to these traditions. Although it is nice to retain purebred Makengos and skongs as a symbol of high status, Auctioning them to the highest bidder goes against the spirit of animal conservation. Oh, she's thinking kind of like Gundam, I think. Maybe maybe hanging out with Gundam has made her rethink the idea of, like, keeping animals? Wait, they're animals? Please listen! But we do not need to completely end this, end this tradition. I shall simply find new uses for Makangos and Skongs. They grow when they're scared and shrink when angered. I plan to harness the energy they release in this state. Using the knowledge of the past, we shall develop a new energy source from our old traditions. Hold on, do strange animals like that really exist in your country? Perhaps. I understand it might be a difficult path. Well? However, I shall accomplish it by any means. Guiding my people along the right path is the duty of a ruler. Her people must believe she's a wonderful princess if she actually thinks of them like that. I believe that's true too, but... In my eyes, Sonia and the no uh, Nova Sela Kingdom are just full of mysteries. Uh, it's always interesting talking with her. After somewhat bridging the cultural divide between us, I return to my room. Alright, am I gonna have a chance for one more free time? Nope. Oh, looks like it's starting to get dark. Oh, looks like the plan's in motion. The doorbell? Is someone here? Instinctively, my entire body tensed up. I knew it was probably something like Sonia or maybe Kazuichi, but regardless, I was nervous. Not that I can help it, I mean so much has happened since we arrived at this island. While mumbling to myself, I quietly opened my cottage door. Hello there. Oh, <sighs> should have expected him. Well, like, hello there, Hajime. Nagito, after he said he wouldn't uh, interact with us at all? Why is he here? He totally knows about our plan. You... what are you doing here? <laughs> you sure ask weird questions. That's not it. I mean, you guys all have business with me, right? Huh? Well... Chiaki invited me to the lobby. She said she had something she wanted to talk to me about. Everyone put her up to that, right? He's already found out about our plan. <laughs> Looks like that's a bingo, huh? <laughs> but it's good timing. I have some business with you guys, too. You do? If everyone's already at the lobby, that saves me a lot of trouble. Hey. And I want you to come to the lobby too, even though you're not directly involved with the plan. You even know that. I see. Just as I thought, you were left out, huh? But that's understandable. Right? Since you're the only one who isn't an ultimate, you've basically been left out from the start. Now, now. I'm only joking. Don't make such a scary face. Your joke isn't funny. Someone like me? You shouldn't take me so seriously. See? Oh well, anyway, let's hurry over to the lobby. I don't know the details of your plan, so I'm actually looking forward to it. He's like, I enjoyed being tied up last time. I wonder what you guys are going to do to me. <laughs> when we first arrived at this island, we were friends who explored this place together, so let's go already. 
Oh, seems like so long ago. Fine, let's go. Yep. That he was tagging behind me like a little puppy, and now it's the other way around. I don't know what he's thinking, but as long as we capture him, we'll have the advantage. I won't let him do as he pleases anymore. Chiaki has summoned Nagito, then the plan has already started. Fuyihiko and Akane should be waiting inside for Nagito. Jeez. What happened, Hajime? What are you so nervous about? I'm not nervous. <laughs> you're a terrible actor. Oh well, if you're going to slow down like that, I'll go inside first. As I hesitated in front of the door, Nagito walked past me and entered the hotel lobby. And that's when it happened. All right, I got him. Um, what are you doing? <laughs> Don't judge us for this, but we're gonna tie you up. <laughs> tie me up? There's no use struggling. But I'm not struggling. Huh? <laughs> like I said, he enjoys it. What, what the hell? You're being strangely cooperative. Who cares? Just tie him up before it's too late. You guys are really disappointing. How long are you going to continue behaving so short-sightedly? You gotta look at the big picture, you know? Huh? What are you talking about? It's fine if you don't understand. You can just see the end without knowing. Now then, let's begin! The beginning of the end of Jabberwock Island! And that's when it happened. Out of the corner of my eye, I saw a bright light. Oh sh- Oh! Wow! The air shook. Did not see that coming. An explosion of darkness overtook me, and I, was, and I was unable to see anything. I probably lost consciousness. Shortly after the impact, I managed to open my eyes slightly. Oh, dang. Oh, wow. What's going on? Are the words that left my mouth, but they vanished before they ever reached my ears. They were drowned out by the sound of terrifying laughter. I looked up and saw the source of that laughter. Okay, he's gone full on nutso. Wow. It's amazing! These amazing fireworks surely befit the beginning of the end! It's over. Wow. This is the end. The killings are done for good. Scapegoating the weak in the name of justice, while fearing when the others will stab you in the back. This game of self-righteous hypocrisy ends now! God damn. And to do that, I will destroy Jabberwock Island! Wh what do you mean? That was just a little demonstration. That's why it's the beginning of the end. The actual bomb I'm going to use isn't nearly as weak. Actual? Bomb? I've set up a large number of bombs in a certain area of the island. If all those bombs explode... God damn, he's like the Joker or something now. The force will be enough to wipe out this entire island. So he, I guess he's saying by killing all of us, but destroying the island, it's kind of like for the greater good or something. Wait, what the hell are you saying? If you do that, of course, I doubt we'll walk away from this unharmed. But there's no other way. The actor is expected to leave the stage during the finale. Is this bastard serious? Nagito, please stop! Uh, are you crazy or something? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> uh, you can look at his face and I think you know the answer to that. No, that's not it. I'm not the crazy one here. The one who's really crazy is... What? 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 My, my, this guy. Emergency! I'm Emergency! totally shocked. Seriously, I'm totally shocked. That's all I can say about this turn of events. <laughs> the bombs I set are timed. They're set to go off in two days at noon. I prepared so many powerful bombs that the one that just exploded doesn't even compare. According to my calculations, they're powerful enough to blow up an entire island. Which means in two days at noon, this island is destined to sink into the sea. Where did... I imagine, obviously, he probably got them from, like, the military base, but... Monokuma must have known he was planning to do all this. Like, he must have seen him set all these up. Are you serious? Wow. Do you really think I'd go this far as a joke? You. Where, where did you set them up? 
I can't tell you. How about it? It would be easy to just leave you on your own, but it just wouldn't be fair if I did that. So how about this? If the traitor comes forward and reveals their identity to me, I'll tell them where I hid the bombs. Oh, shit. Huh? Emergency! What in the world is going on? I is everyone all right? Hey! Come on, come, come on. on Don't get in the way. Nagito was in the middle of weeding out the traitor. Ooh. Nagito, what are you planning to do? <laughs> do I really have to say it? It's no use. I mean, the traitor shouldn't be able to reveal their identity on their own. Why? What does that mean? Hmm. Do I really have to say it? Ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh. My, my, you guys are totally eyeing each other and letting sparks fly. I'm getting all hot and bothered. Don't just stand there. Why don't you stop him? Huh? Stop him? Why do I have to stop him? The rules, remember? The same Blacken can only kill a maximum of two people. If he blows up the entire island, that that's going to kill way more than just two people. Hmm. I see. You sure have a good memory. Like you said, if any student breaks that rule, I have to punish them severely. Right? But that's only when someone breaks that rule, right? You can't punish someone for breaking a rule before they've broken it, right? That's right! Oh, okay, so he doesn't even care. Yep, saying you're gonna break the rules isn't against the rules. Too bad! So right now, there's no way I can punish this. Yeah, Nagito is willing to go down anyway, so if he's dead, it doesn't matter if he breaks the rules. What the hell? You're so stupid! Punishment always happens afterward, not before. That's just the rules of society, right? Hey. But even so, there's no need to worry about that in the first place. As long as the traitor comes forward, this can all be resolved peacefully. This is exciting! It'll all be fine. I'm pretty sure everything will work out in the end. After all the time we've spent together, I believe in you guys. <laughs> and more than anything, I believe in my ultimate luck. So it'll definitely... Sorry. It's definitely going to be all right. After he said that, Nagito walked away. He just walked away. I couldn't even stop him. I felt afraid of Nagito. The madness emanating from Nagito's body was seeping into my bones. I never expected him to go this far. <laughs> Nagito is so reliable, I don't have to do anything because he's shaking things up. <sighs> that bastard, I'll never forgive him. Damn it! Is he fucking serious about those bombs? Hey, hey! A as long as the traitor comes forward, he'll say where the bombs are, right? Well, here's the thing is... Uh... We said something about how the traitor might not even remember they're the traitor, so how can they step forward if they don't know? Is that his goal? Damn it! Then I'm begging you guys, it doesn't matter who does it, someone just has to come forward. Hey, I'm begging you guys. No matter how long we waited, no one was willing to come forward. What Nagito said yesterday, I'll weed out the traitor even if it cost me my life. I finally understand what he meant. Nagito took this entire island hostage and created a situation where the traitor has to come forward. That is Nagito's goal. But what is he planning to do if the traitor doesn't come forward? Is he really going to blow up the, the entire island? <laughs> <laughs>